Hello and welcome to the Play by the Rules training film. At Stanley Bostitch, we take safety seriously, and so should you. The workplace can be full of dangers, so let's start the action and look at the most important safety rules you and your team need to follow. Oh, there's a card. That ref has everybody's safety in mind. Failure to wear safety glasses while operating a nailing tool. Yep, the ref's got him. Failure to wear safety glasses while operating a Bostitch nailing tool. What was that guy thinking? I guess he thought all refs were blind, but he might be blind if he keeps that up. All he would have to do is hit a bad spot on the wood and bang, he'd end up with a splinter in his eye. Safety glasses protect from the front and the side. Wear them whenever you operate any power tool. That's better. OK, let's review the play. He got him! No mistake in that whistle. Always wear proper eye protection. Oh, he's going to get a card. This is going to cost him big time. Carrying tool with a finger on the trigger. Very painful, and it could cost him six months on the bench out of work. Let's review that play and freeze it right there. That looks even worse on the replay. Let's look at the proper way to carry a nailing or stapling tool. Keep the nose facing down and keep your hand off the trigger. The handle is designed so that your hand fits comfortably behind the trigger for carrying. And always disconnect it before you move anywhere, even a short distance. When moving with a cordless tool, always remove the battery to disable the power. Finally, whenever using a ladder or scaffolding, whatever the power source, only use a tool with a sequential trip. OK, let's review the play. Oh, somebody could really get hurt. Never carry tools with the trigger pulled. Oh, that guy could have nailed his workmate. Aiming a nailer in the direction of a fellow worker. Never ever point the tool at anyone or yourself and be aware of the material you're nailing into. All woods are not created equal. And keep in mind, if you accidentally miss the stud, the nail could pop right through to the other side. Make sure you know who's around you and make sure your free hand is nowhere near the nail. The nailer doesn't know the difference between wood and your hand, but you sure will. Ouch! OK, let's review the play. You've got to know what's going on everywhere. So, don't drive fasteners towards yourself or anyone else. Oh, surely that's a penalty. That ref can see around corners. Leaving a tool unattended and still powered. Now that's how accidents happen. As long as the power is hooked up, a tool is dangerous. What if a workmate tripped over it or a child found it? Always remove the power source when you aren't using the tool, so disconnect the airline or take out the battery and fuel cell, even if you're making an adjustment, clearing a jam or moving to a different area. It only takes a second to play it safe. OK, let's review the play. A tool lying around is a danger to everyone, so always remove the power source when a tool is not in use. Yikes! 
attempting to connect a nailing tool to an improper power source. Connect any air tool to the wrong power source and you never know what might happen, even an explosion. It may sound really dumb, but it has been done. And the person who tried it would tell you not to do it, if he could. You shouldn't use nailers near a flammable substance or where there are solvents and cleaners around. Always use regulated compressed air with a pneumatic nailer or stapler. Keep the air at the proper pressure and make sure you're using the correct fittings too. Anything else could be a nightmare. For cordless tools, always make sure the fuel cell is compatible. OK, let's review the play. What you don't know can hurt you. There's no question about the call. Always use the correct power source. Oh, now that's dangerous play. Failure to keep electrics dry. Yes, it might not seem like much, but water and electrics make a dangerous combination that can result in a nasty shock. Don't put chargers, batteries or a compressor somewhere it might get wet. He might get more than he was expecting next time he touches it. It can be lethal. So move it somewhere dry. That's better. OK, let's review the play. Yes, good call, ref. Always keep compressors, batteries and chargers dry. Well spotted. Operating a gas-powered tool near a naked flame. Good call, Ref. It's easy to forget that gas-powered tools and naked flames don't mix. Cordless tools and fuel cells can be dangerous and should be kept away from ignition sources. When operating with a cordless tool, keep away from naked flames. Be aware where all your team members are when on the field. And remember, never leave fuel cells exposed to high temperatures, say, on the dashboard of the van. OK, let's review the play. It's a fair cop. You need to keep those eyes peeled. Never operate gas-powered tools near a naked flame. Oh, ref, what's wrong now? Failure to ensure adequate ventilation when using a cordless tool. Yep, the ref certainly knows the rules of the game. Working in an enclosed area can result in fumes building up. It's dangerous to end up feeling dizzy with a nailer in your hand. So always ensure there's plenty of fresh air coming in. It's very easy to overlook that one, but luckily, our ref knows the score. It only takes a second to open that window. That's better. OK, let's review the play. Well spotted, Ref. Always ensure adequate ventilation when using a cordless tool. Oh, ho! Oh, the Ref has eyes like a hawk! Failure to read the manual for a new tool. You know, you do the job so long, it's easy to assume you know what to do. In addition to reading the manual, always read the warning labels on all tools. A new tool could mean some new changes. It only takes a minute to make sure you know what you're doing. OK, let's review the play. You've got to know the tool you're working with, so... With any new tool, read the manual. Now let's look at the nine safety tips one more time. Always wear proper eye protection. Don't carry any tool with the trigger pulled. Don't drive fastness towards yourself or anyone else. Always remove the power source when the tool isn't in use. 
always use the correct power source. Always keep compressors, batteries and chargers dry. Never operate gas tools near a naked flame. Always ensure adequate ventilation when using a cordless tool. And always read the manual. This is good advice. You've got to know the rules and the tools. So, play by the rules. And thanks for watching.